On Sunday, January 7, 2024, South Division patrol officers were dispatched on a robbery call at a business in the 6400 block of McCart Avenue at 4.01 a.m. The call details stated that the suspect, later identified as 37-year-old Walker Cad, entered the store wearing a face mask and armed with a crowbar. Cat attempted to smash glass counters and stole several items of merchandise. Forward Police Department Operator 139, what's the location you're calling about? This is uh, House Department or Business? It's a business. It's uh, Vape City is the name. Vape City, what's going on there? <laughs> Um, well, I'm a, one of the associates working, and uh, we just had a guy come in with like a box in his hands and a crowbar, and he stole a bunch of uh, nicotine juices, he stole some water pipes, and then he tried to shatter one of our cases with his crowbar, but he couldn't. And he, you said he stole a couple of items? Yeah, he stole a couple of things and broke some stuff, and then he just walked out and left, didn't say anything to me. Okay, I do already have a call for officers to respond um, out to that location. Aside from the crowbar, did he have any other weapons? Uh, no, not that I could tell. I just saw a cardboard box and then a crowbar in his hand. Okay. I have a call for officers. They should be pulling up there here shortly. I just want you to stay on the line with me until they arrive, okay? Yes, ma'am. The first responding officer arrived at 4.03 a.m and observed Cad running through the creek bed behind the shopping center towards a residential neighborhood off of West Creek Drive. Three one seven, he's running across the creek. He's heading towards uh, behind back in America. Can somebody get over there quick? Somebody get over to the Bank of America, I'll black male, carrying a tan backpack. Cad then jumped a fence into the backyard of a residence, located in the 3200 block of Fargo Court. The officer began directing additional responding units to the last known location of the suspect as he relocated to that address. The officer located the suspect hiding in a shed in the backyard of a residence. The officer drew his weapon and immediately began giving verbal commands for Cad to show him his hands. Cad refused to comply with the lone officer's verbal commands, stating no several times. The officer called out on the radio with his exact location so assist officers could locate him. Back here, they've been back here the red, red bar. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! I need a unit here, one house to the right of federal court. Show me your fucking I'm going you! Cad then stood up and began walking toward the officer. I'm going to shoot you! Back up, yes! The officer warned Cad multiple times that he would shoot, but Cad ignored those warnings and kept advancing directly toward the officer. Cad was in within arm's reach of the officer who pushed Cad back to create distance and then retreated out of the shed. Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Cad continued ignoring the officer's commands and he exited the shed. Once outside, Cad moved toward a large opening in the fence which would have given him access to the neighboring residence and an opportunity to escape. Back up! Back up! In an attempt to prevent Cad's escape, the officer reached for Cad with his left hand to stop him. Cad then turned toward the officer and reached toward the officer's gun. At this point, fearing that the suspect was attempting to take his weapon, the officer fired two shots from his pistol. One shot struck Cad in the leg. Back up! Back up! Show your hands! 
Show me hands! Show me hands! A backup officer arrived several seconds later and both officers secured CAD and immediately began providing emergency medical care. CAD was transported to a local hospital by MedStar where he was treated and released later that day. CAD was booked on a charge of theft and attempting to take a weapon from a peace officer. No officers or any other individuals were injured during this incident.